but we are here to discuss an art project I've got coming up um, where I was lucky enough to be asked by the, the field uh, people here at Bernie's camp to paint a mural um, on his wall. So it's a little bit of a uh, little bit of art, a little bit of politics. Um, I'm excited about it because I, I mean I would do this for for a, a few candidates. Um, there's some I would absolutely not do it for. Um, 45 in particular. Um, but Bernie is a uh, I don't know, he's, a, he's a good man, so to be asked to do something like this is uh, super, super exciting. It was nice when I met with the, with the uh, campaign people here, um, I had showed them an idea of what, what I wanted to do. And before I left that meeting, I had been tapped to do um, the rest of his campaign offices across the state, which is like really uh, super surreal, to be honest with you, super surreal, because um, when I started getting into artwork it had nothing to I, I didn't you know envision anything remotely close to this so to have an opportunity like that is like I don't know beyond beyond anything I would have ever thought um, and to be able to to, to be asked to like make t-shirts as well is kind of very exciting so tell I'm telling myself I'm gonna do something different in every in every office and I'd like to like kind of make it for something like that that town's known for like say i was going to do one in my hometown of londonary um i'd have to have a huge apple somewhere um uh yeah shout out max apples um so i'd like to do something like that but the, but the original design that i had decided to do here um is going to be uh rest in peace old man on the mountain but or old man of the mountain you know for years <laughs> i've said old man on the mountain did you guys know that, that it's the old man of the mountain? I should have my New Hampshire card yanked for not knowing that. But, uh, so I'm, I'm going to take, I, I took a picture of Frank Honey and Notch um, and kind of <laughs> put uh, Senator Sanders' face um, on there and kind of, uh, you know, with, with graphic design programs, kind of made a cartoonized, if that's even a word, uh, version of uh, the old man of the mountain and now it's a Bernie of the mountain so it's gonna be kind of a psychedelic ish cartoony look of uh, old man of the mountain it actually <clears throat> got into art as a way to um, I've had a, I've had a history of, of, of drug addiction and alcoholism and um, I've been sober for a little bit over a year and I was talking to my friend, who you know from uh, Peter's show, the morning show on 95.3, um, Gonzo. And uh, I was telling him, I confided in him, that I was starting to get really anxious and didn't have, I didn't see the point in being sober anymore. And, uh, you know, that, I think that frightened him a little bit. And it was like, dude, don't, like, you don't want to go down that road again. And I was like, well, I kind of, like, don't, don't care. I'm, like, bored, dude. And... He, uh, he at the time was, was, had been doing art for a few years, and I was a huge fan of his stuff. He's really out of the box, like, artistic dude. And he handed me a couple cans of spray paint. and was like, listen, go, go in my studio. Just go in there and see if you like it. And at that point, I was just, I, you know, I was, you know, my ego is still uh, Mr. Macho. And I was like, dude, I, I don't paint, bro. I don't do painting. And he was like, no, please, just go, go in there and just see what you think. And so I took these two cans and a canvas, went in to his studio, and like four hours later, I came out, I'm like, dude, that, like, this is great. I'm like, I, I, lo I love it. And it, I agree with you. It's, it is awesome to see, um, you know, different recovery spaces, uh, you know, not only just in the city, but across the country. Um, embracing art. I mean, in rehabs, they actually have art therapy. Um, and, and in behavioral health units, they have it. And it's proven to be a method that, that really works. And it's, it, it is. It's so good to see. Um, what does it mean to me? It's, like I said earlier, I mean, it's, I mean, it might sound cheesy. No, it's literally saved my life. Because um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I, if I, 
if I didn't go into Gonzo's studio that day, I, I, I could be another statistic. And I've got three kids, and, and I don't want to be a statistic, you know? So if, and, and if, I mean, there's nothing more flattering than, like, finishing something and having somebody be like, oh, that's awesome. And, you know, maybe that's just a stroke to my ego, which I'll take. But I, I it's, it's, yeah, arts, arts, yeah, pretty much saved my life.